Hey, good morning. How are you today? It's Pastor Aaron, and today is day six of the Expect Hope Church fast and what we're believing for together as a community, as a body of Christ. We are unifying together, asking God to do wonderful and awesome things in our lives. Today, I want to talk to you about praying and fasting for God to use you. Did you know that that is one of the things you should be asking the Lord to do in your life is use you? And that when you pray and when you fast, the Lord hears your prayers and he's going to respond to those prayers in a very real and powerful way. It's something so awesome when you think about that the creator of the universe wants to use us. He wants to use you. But sometimes the enemy gets in our head and he tells us you're not worthy to be used. You're not good enough to be used. You're not ready to be used. But can I tell you something? This is why we're here praying and fasting. Because it's not enough just to ask God for our needs to be taken care of. But I truly believe that every believer of Christ has a deep desire inside of their heart to be used of God for their eternal purpose. And that's for you. And this fast is directly connected to that. You know, I'm so thankful all the times that I've had an encounter with Jesus. I've had many of them. I've been around the world and I've seen God use my life in ways I never dreamed possible. But can I tell you something? Every time that I fasted, it unlocks something new and visionary in my life that I didn't dream possible before that moment. God wants to use you. And as you're praying, as you're fasting, I want to encourage you today and pray with you today that the struggle you might be in physically for a moment is an investment into your future and to the calling that God has for your life. You know, Jesus was with his disciples for three years. And as they went around the world, as they traveled around ministering, and Jesus casted out devils, and he healed the sick, and he preached to the masses, the disciples were with Jesus almost at all times. And there's a story in the Gospel of Mark chapter 9. And it begins by telling a story of a young boy who is possessed of an impure spirit. And the father comes and brings the boy to the disciples and shares with him how this demon spirit had been tormenting the boy, making him gnash his teeth and, and harm him and throw his body on the ground into convulsions and he'd foam at the mouth. And it was this tormenting thing that would come on. And do you know that those spirits exist today and I've seen them and you may have as well. The enemy is real. Satan is on the move in the earth today, but God needs warriors and sons and daughters of Christ to rise up and fight the good fight. Well, this was like the disciples. They were ready, they were excited. And the father brought this need, this ailment, this child who was struggling to the disciples and the disciples prayed and prayed, but the demon couldn't be cast out. The demon overthrew the disciples. The father was so upset, but when he saw Jesus, he said, your disciples could not cast the spirit out, but can you? And if we read in scripture, we can go and Jesus says in verse 23, if, if I can, said Jesus, everything is possible for one who believes. Immediately the boy's father exclaimed, I do believe, help me overcome my unbelief. And when Jesus saw that a crowd was running to the scene, he rebuked the impure spirit. You deaf and mute spirit, he said, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. And the spirit shrieked, convulsed him violently and came out. And the boy looked so much like a corpse that many said, he's dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him to his feet and he stood up. And after Jesus had gone indoors, his disciples asked him privately, why couldn't we drive it out? And he replied, this kind can only come out by prayer and fasting. Have you ever felt like the disciples? You had the knowledge, you've been in church, you've been prayed for, you're ready to go, but maybe you hit a situation and you're trying to, like the disciples, cast the devil out or you're trying to believe God for a miracle, or you prayed for somebody who needs uh, healing from sickness, and maybe you didn't see anything. Jesus taught his disciples something so powerful, and this is our lesson right now, that there are certain things that only prayer and fasting will bring the deliverance and the total victory and the blessing from heaven. I wanna tell you something. You're paying a price when you fast. You're feeling it in your physical body. You're feeling it during your workday. 
you're feeling tired, you're feeling weak, all these types of things are coming on your natural body. Why are you doing this? And I hope and pray for you. This is what I'm believing for for me, that God will use me in a greater way. And this is my prayer for you, that your fast will have such a purpose that you can come out of this 10 day fast and look at the world differently and know, hey, I've put an investment in. I have sown not just prayers, I have sown a fast believing for God to use me. And can I tell you how biblical that is that Jesus taught his disciples, certain things you will not see the Lord use you until you fast. This fast is gonna be your breakthrough moment. This fast is gonna be a time where you are never the same, that you can operate in the supernatural power of God if that's what you're asking for. And so I'm gonna ask for it right now, would you join with me in prayer? Father, I pray for every person watching this video, no matter where they are in the world, Father, that you would inspire, exhort, and Lord, just blow up their faith to such a huge magnitude that they can see this is not about us by ourselves, but this is about you and us working together through the Holy Spirit. Lord, I thank you this fast for those that are participating in this fast, that they will put an expectation on you and on the fast saying, Lord, I have sacrificed for this moment that God you would use me as a result and Lord I thank you that you will start using them Lord I pray they go to the north south east and the west they go to the highways and the byways father they go into restaurants they go into places of business and Lord they have faith that Lord you'll use them in the gifts of the spirit like never before so father we believe in faith you're gonna do this we thank you for an advance and praise you that, God, you are going to work miracles like never before. Amen. Say it with me. Say amen. I'm so happy you watched this video. I want not to invite you, excuse me. I want to invite you to our service Wednesday, August 10th, right here at Expect Hope Church. If you're able to physically be here, I want you to join us. We're also going to be streaming. You can join us on the live stream Wednesday, August 10th, 7 p.m. We are going to be laying hands with you, Terry and I believing God for miracles for the things you've been fasting for. Don't miss it. Mark your calendars. We won't have child care that night, but just bring the kids in with you. And we're going to have an amazing time in the spirit. Well, until I see you again, God bless you. We love you. We're praying for you.